Everyone, this is Deborah Richardson, and today I am putting the AP in Happy where accounts payable teams are empowered to protect the vendor master file from fraud. This podcast will give a voice to accounts payable team members by talking about the growing reality of cyber attacks in their world and which vendor setup and vendor management techniques they can apply to protect the vendor master file from fraud. Need training? Visit the Vendor Process Training Center to enroll in your choice of weekly live and on-demand training sessions. Plus, get access to vendor setup form templates and reference tools that will help you and your team avoid fraud, fines, and bad vendor data. So sign up for a free account to get access to free training sessions, vendor process, FAQs, and a resource library with information you need to manage your vendor master file. Visit training.deborahrrichardson.com today. The link will be in the show notes. How hard is it for you to get approved $500 worth of training or software to help you do your job better? See what fraudsters get for $500 to defraud you and your company. Keep listening. Welcome to episode 275. Here is what a fraudster gets for $500 to defraud you and your company. And it's very funny. Well, actually it's not funny, but I wonder if the fraudster has any issues getting their approval for this $500 training slash software from their higher ups. Because, you know, just like us, there are frosters out there that work for companies. There are frosters like me um, who are independent. And I said that it came out the wrong way, not frosters like me, but there are frosters that are independent we'll go with that, that uh, can really get into the uh, payment fraud game for $500. It's a very low barrier to entry. But let's take a look at what is included. And I will tell you, I'm going to put a link to this article that I saw, and I really didn't know what to do with it because it came from the Hacker News. And the article is entitled Telegram. And Telegram is one of the uh, apps that frosters use use often, so they don't even have to go on the deep web, right? But the title of the article is Telegram Marketplaces Fuel Phishing Attacks with Easy-to-Use Kits and Malware. And I'll put a link to that in the show notes, but I know I've known, not sure if you've known, that kits have been around for a while, right? Fishing kit uh, kits to help fraudsters and cyber criminals uh, uh, perpetrate fraud, uh, fraud on us faster. But I never really paid attention to what might be included, but they do have a list of what is included or what's being advertised on Telegram for fraudsters for a kit. And so I am going to put, again, put a link to this article in the show notes. And in the article, they have the visual of what I am about to say. So it has a list of everything. So if you are ready to see what they get for $500, um, might surprise you. And then think about, right, if you had, if there was a kit for you to get, uh, for $500 or maybe even less, or maybe even a little more, right? Would you get that approved? So let's take a look at what this kit has included. So actually it is, uh, is it two? I think it's two. Um, the first one is called the exclusive VIP package. And I don't think the other one is the same, but, or is in, uh, it's, it's like two visuals in here, but I think it's, it's separated. 
but I'm just going to talk about the first, um, the first of those. And so I still think, you know, it's probably still worth 500 bucks. Um, so it's called the exclusive VIP package and, uh, it lists what you get and the full courses from A to Z. So I don't know if these are courses or not, but um, the first thing is they get brand new Scampage, bulletproof C panel, whatever both of those are, 16 gigabytes of remote desktop protocol, a complete live spamming class with the trainer, uh, a complete live video on how to make your own SM. Uh, F SMTP, which is a way to securely transfer files, uh, a complete live video on how to make your own WHM, whatever that is, um, phonogen and validator. I wonder, is that what changes the phone numbers to make you think um, that it's the phone numbers coming from like a well-known phone number, but it's really spoofed. Uh, and then they get 25,000 USA validated numbers, I guess, so they can call or maybe spoof. They get 25,000 USA validated numbers. Oh my goodness. Okay. They get four real dark web onions. And uh, it says in parentheses, too many fakes, but you've got a real one with me if you take this package. And I think the onions have something to do with validations, but I could be wrong. Uh, they also get access to the trainer's gateway with 15 credits. Um, they get the latest URL shortener that works for your spamming links. And that's a hint and a half again, that the uh, shorteners, right, can hide spammed uh, or, or, uh, fraudulent URLs, but I, which is why when you see a lot of my URLs, I try not to shorten them for that reason. But the other issue is, is that some of these URLs, even if you do see the full URL, they are so long, you don't necessarily know if they are right or not. So, um, just pointing that out though, they have the latest URL shortener that will help them with their spamming links. Uh, also, the best site to generate documents for loans, taxes, and more. Uh, they get three best engines to get anything you want. Uh, oh, three best search engines to get anything you want. What? Okay. The next one is four best forums to help you with spamming. So they got people that'll help you like a community that'll, you know, work through the issues that you're having. Um, they have four best. Oh, no, I already talked about the four um, forums. They have private SMPT, uh, to SMS. Uh, not quite sure what that is, but they get that included. They also have an Amazon valid email checker and an, um, uh, email valid email checker and a PayPal scam page and checker. These are all very well-known sites, okay, or brands. Uh, they have a CC to B2C ebook, logs to B2C ebook. So whatever those are, they have an ebook to tell them how to do it. Um, and then they have a private reverse shell finder. That probably should say finder, but I'm not quite sure because I don't know what a reverse shell um, is in the first place. But go on to the next one. They get a private SMPT which by the way, can be AWS. So Amazon Web Services, Office, SendGrid. I mean, those sound like legitimate brands. Uh, they also get, uh, uh, so they get the private SMPT mailer, which can be any of those brands. Uh, they also get um, cPanel and Config Cracker. So I don't know necessarily what a cPanel and that Config Cracker is, but that does not sound good, at least for us. Uh, and then they also get a private mail sender and private sites to fastly build websites for generating leads without doing anything major. How would you love to get a uh, private site so you can fastly build like whatever you want? Let's just say, would you get, if you asked for a, let's say an Excel add-in so that you can quickly do things in Excel. Hmm. It comes with this uh, VIP package. 
uh, for fraudsters. Just saying. All right. And then the next one is they get private sites that help you with spamming uh, an ebook on how to do ACH, Zelle, and many more. So how to perpetrate fraud using ACH, Zelle, and many more. I wonder if that ebook um, on the ACH talks about sending emails for bank account, uh, bank account remittance changes or remittance address changes. Uh, if, uh, if they include like check payment, they didn't say that here, but it could be included in the many more. Uh, they also get a complete carding course. So have no idea what a carding course is, but if I count it correctly, it is four courses or maybe a little bit more, a couple more in this uh, VIP package for $500. And then let me just move over to the second uh, visual. It has, oh, it has a new advanced spamming course. So maybe it does come included. So this advanced, I'm going to talk about it anyway. This advanced spamming course um, has a complete setup for spamming. It's email and SMS, so uh, email and texting. Uh, buying bulletproof VP, VPs or VPS. Uh, set up domain and plot DNS configuration. SMPT to SMS method, spamming SMS, uh, SMS, so text uh, content encryption, getting paid domain. Wow. Uh, and then also spoofing is inclu included in the course. And then uh, it also tells them how to bypass Google bots and crawlers uh, with a private URL shortener. Wow. Uh, they have a PayPal bypass. Uh, a content encryption for email scamming, inbox letter making, getting leads, uh, email and SMS leads, I guess, and then private telex sender, which is, by the way, a bonus, and then uh, hosting issues and carding, and two more, uh, rack space SMP, SMPTs, uh, video and best usage method, and then chat support, they get chat support for one month. Now, private tutorials are not available just in case you were wondering if the Frosters could get private tutorials, that is not available. Uh, and also they said Priv8 tools or private tools um, will be provided that are not available on Telegram. It's an extra charge for that, by the way. They don't say how much it is, but they do have a smiley face right next to it. Um, and then finally, it says uh, this course is not just for newbies. Even if you are a pro spammer, these new advanced and updated methods will help you get more results. It does say that escrow is accepted, whatever that is. Uh, and then lastly, it has a contact email address, uh, or it looks like it might be a telegram ID, but it was blurred out. And it says to contact, you know, that, uh, that uh, ID or email to discuss payments. So you don't even have to have the full $500 at once you can put it on a payment plan. So I ask you now, uh, if you wanted, or if you asked for software or training or anything to help you combat fraud, that was uh, $500 or somewhere in that range, would you get it approved? Because this is a low barrier to entry for any independent froster or froster that is working for a company to learn how to better defraud you and your company. You might want to uh, save this link and maybe send it to uh, your boss or your leadership just to show what you guys are up against because, and you know it, I know it, but I'm going to say it again. The fraudsters all day long, that is what they do, is they figure out how to defraud you.
You, on the other hand, all day long, along with your coworkers, have work to do. And in the seconds that it takes to get that email uh, to determine whether it's fraudulent or not, you have to quickly determine if it is fraudulent. And their goal is that it looks legitimate. And your goal is that you hurry up and complete it. That is just not something that I think should be left to, what what do they call us? The human firewall. Probably should have named the podcast episode uh, something along the lines of the human firewall. But taking a look at what the frosters can get here, and these are the lazy frosters. That human firewall is just going to get harder and harder to be. All right, guys. So that is all that I have for this week's podcast. It didn't really give you any action items and I try to have action items, but I will tell you, I just got just completely floored when I saw, uh, when I saw this uh, article from Hacker News about what is available on the marketplace for Frosters. And by the way, this article also has more information in it about what things are available. Um, For example, they talk about uh, how much it costs to uh, buy uh, a bank account. So it says, uh, or not bank accounts, but accounts in general. So it uh, it says that social media account credentials are sold for a little as a dollar, while banking accounts and credit card accounts can be sold for hundreds of dollars, right, depending on the validity and the funds. So they didn't really give an amount for that. But uh, this just goes to show um, that uh, us being that human firewall, I don't think is valid anymore. And I think we need to have uh, tools and resources and training or move the remittance piece of our vendor set up and maintenance to a third party provider who can then concentrate on it. Cause you know what? I know, I know this and I know you know this, but you have work to do. We all have work to do and trying to be the human firewall and get that work done is not as easy as it used to be. All right. So again, I'm going to start by sign off. So thanks everyone. I hope you enjoyed the 275th episode of the Putting the AP in Happy podcast, where accounts payable teams are empowered to protect the vendor master file from fraud. Don't forget to check the show notes for the links mentioned in the podcast. And if you enjoyed this episode, consider subscribing and writing a review of my podcast on the platform that you use to listen. Stay happy.